In today's video, I'm going to be showing you on how you can make this super cool number spinner module inside of your game. Now for those that have no idea what this is, I'm going to head straight into a Roblox game and show you what this is all about. It's a super cool and fun module, so I hope you can find a way to integrate this into your game. Let's go ahead and click play and I'll quickly show you how this works. Okay, so here we are inside of the Roblox game. So I've just quickly coded this demo. And as you can see, it says the price, which is $0, and there's a button called random. So let's click on this button, and there you go. We have this really cool effect, and as you can see, I've added commas and a decimal. And you can have a prefix, in this case, which I have set to be my dollar. And as you can see, we can keep pressing the random button. Of course, if you want to set this to a specific value, you can do that. But this is a great module, and today I'm going to be showing you on how you can use it. Okay, so first we need to get the number spinner module. So you can do this by heading to the link in the description down below. Of course, I'm going to give it a thumbs up because this is a great model. And then I need you to click on get model. Now, once that loads in, it says try and studio. Now, if you want to and you already have a game, all you need to do is open up studio, just like I do, Roblox Studio. And then what you need to do is you need to create a brand new base plate or go to a game if you already have one. And then let's click on new and then place plate and then that's going to load in so i'm just going to use a basic ui however you can use your own if you have a more advanced one and then let's get started so the first thing of course is you're going to need to have your gui so i already have my gui so i'm just going to quickly make one and then i'm just going to grab a text label and your text label is actually going to be how the counter works so you can make it as fancy as you want this is how fancy i'm going to go and then now, remember that we've got that model, we now need to head to Toolbox, then to Inventory, and as you can see, our number spinner module is right here. So let's click on that and bring it straight into Replicated Storage, and now we can already start to use this module. Okay, so now let's create a local script inside of ScreenGUI. This is going to be the main handler of it, and now of course we need to require our module script. So let's just say local number spinner equals, and then require game, dot replicated storage colon wait for child and then number spinner now the, hopefully that will get all of the scripts and everything from number spinner and now we can start off by defining our number spinner object so we can do this by saying local spinner equals number spinner dot from gui object and then we can just say script dot parent dot text label or you can also have a variable, but we're just going to set this to our text label now. Now, in here, you just need to pass your text label. Okay, so there are quite a few things you can actually do to your spinner. So we can add a duration, we can add decimals, we can add a prefix, and we can add a suffix. We can also add the option for commas. If you wondered how I got that, I got that through here. And what it means by value is we can set what this text should be. So let's say spinner dot tech or dot spinner dot value equals and then 99 now let's add a wait five of course you might want to do this on an event or however you want to do that but we're just going to wait five so that i can load in and see the effect and as you can see zero 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 and let's give it a couple of seconds and there you go you can see it went up to 99 just like we set now and as you can see we have the option for decimals a prefix a suffix and for commas let me just quickly show you what will happen if we set the commas equal true. Then now let's make this a super big number. And as you can see, when we run the game and give it five seconds, so one, two, three, four, five, and let's wait. As you can see, our number now has commas. If we set it to something, let's say, without commas, so false, uh, I need to stop publishing this and wait for it to load okay here it goes here we go and as you can see we count to five for one two three four five as you can see we have no commas at all now let's say you want this animation to be a bit longer we can change this by saying spinner dot duration equals and then any number we want so let's say we want the number spin to take 10 entire seconds so i'm just going to publish this so all my data is saved and let's call it number spinner of course, you can publish this to your game if you already have one. And then once we have that saved, we're going to run the game again. And here we go. And then let's give it a couple of seconds once more. And as you can see, this time is going to take a bit longer to go up. 
Now that does look like we have a bit of a bug here, but with the bigger numbers it may be a bit difficult. If we have smaller numbers, I can assure you it looks much better, just like in the example I showed you in the intro. Let's just enable commas again. I would recommend having this to um, around 0.5 by the way, so as you can see that's quite a big decrease. And then if we set that to 590, and what we can do is we can put this inside of a loop and we can set the value to be a random number each time. So to do this we can say while wait one do, so while waiting one do, in fact we can even set this higher so we can see the effect, and then we're just going to copy all of this code and put it in here, and then instead of saying spinner.value equal 590 we can say math.random and then we're going to put one and then a thousand and it'll generate any number in between one and a thousand. Now as you can see we also had the option for a suffix and a prefix. Now prefix goes before the value so let's just say before here spinner dot prefix equals and then let's just set it to be a pound symbol okay then let's play and as you can see instead of having a dollar prefix we're now going to have a pound prefix and as you can see 502 pounds and you can see the values changing every time and it looks super good we still have the pound symbol and then a suffix comes after so let's just say you have I wouldn't recommend using the module like this however I'm just displaying this spinner dot suffix 503 um, cookie coins for example now we're not gonna add spaces like this and I'm gonna show you what happens then let's play as you can see, let's give it a second. And as you can see, the values are merged together. So to stop that effect, we just need to put a space before and after. And then let's give it a go this time. And let's go ahead and play. And let's give it a couple of seconds. And there we go. We have this super cool effect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions or issues using this module, you can happily open a forms post. The forms will be linked down below in the description. Thank you for tuning in, that's all from me, and bye bye